Passport bros. Shots fired, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Now, I know y'all probably thinking, like, damn, like, who is this Thai chick going on? I'm like, she can actually pass to be Filipina, to be honest with you. But I know y'all probably thinking, like, man, who is she snapping at? There was a video that I reacted to, I want to say about a month ago, give or take. And it was about Passport Sisters taking L's. And there was a one white woman in particular who had went to Thailand and was talking shit about um, how she was so much better than the Thai women, but she was complaining. About, well, you know what? I'm going to just replay the clip for you guys, man, and then, then we'll go from there. Check this out. Can I compete with Thai women when it comes to dating and relationship? Absolutely, yes. Not the cow. So in this episode, I'll tell you about the struggles we have Western women dating in Thailand and also compare. So who would you rather be with? A Thai woman or a Western woman like me? Mm -hmm. Thai women is easier. That's for sure. You know, she's not going to challenge you back. <laughs> she's not going to be more successful than you are. She's certainly not going to have more money than, than you. So for sure, with Western women, you have that challenge. You need to up the game because we're going behind you. You know, we're earning equal to you, sometimes more than you. Of course, maybe in 38, by the way, I'm single saying if you're interested send me your applications i will review your persona <laughs> um so anyway uh, yeah the reason i'm telling you that i'm single because I, I know what it's like when it comes to dating i've been on about two or three dates in the last year and a half and they were absolutely shit <coughs> western guys have a huge pool of candidates a huge pool of women who are up to them up to them or their money <laughs> one of them and uh, of course uh, they have a selection so and what I'll find as well guys know that dating Western women is a lot more challenging of course but we want to realize that those are you and it's because she wants you not that she needs you do you understand and, and I'm not talking about all the rest of the women we're all different I, I'm talking about myself you know why do you think I'm single um the guy who called me a used tampon <laughs> you, you didn't upset me okay I, I genuinely feel really concerned about your mental health in order to date a Western woman you you've got to be a smart guy You've got to be two steps ahead because we are clever, we are educated, we know what we're doing, we don't need you, we want you. Do you understand the difference? A Thai lady needs you. I don't. If I choose a guy, it's because I want to be with that guy. So, what do you choose? All right, so now that we got that refresher out the way, um, I thought I'd show you a few clips of some Thai women that clapped back at her because apparently these videos of her talking about Thai women got around and Thai women did not like what she had to say. I keep trying to tell y'all Western women, quit, quit, leave these women alone, especially these Asian women, man. They don't play. Check this out. Wait, what is that taste? Oh, bitterness. Ha, ha. So you're saying that Western men pick Thai girls because we're easier? You know what? Please enlighten me. The fact that men in your hometown can pick you up on the street, but choose not to, 
but instead fly across the continent to my country and start dating Thai women? Please tell me which one of us is easier. And since you are a self-proclaimed independent and educated woman, maybe you should know that real intelligence and real education lies in the ability to understand and respect the difference in others. An intelligent person who understands their self-worth will not have to put other people down to make themselves feel better. If you really need to make yourself feel better by talking down to Thai women because we take all your men, maybe it's time for you to self-reflect and really ask yourself, do you love yourself enough? If you are the type of person who like to judge and discriminate people from different ways, I cannot imagine how you would treat a person you are dating. No wonder why Western men buy tickets so fast. But what do I know, right? I'm just an uneducated Thai girl. Rule one is to always, and I mean always, respect the culture. Shout out to Thailand for being the only country that hasn't been colonized or occupied by any European country. Passport Bros. Yeah, um, I got more for you, bro. Um, <laughs> yo, it gets, yo, it gets bad, man. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Good God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, she fine. Do you want to know why Thai women are getting shows over you? These Thai women that you are so angry about getting shows over you, do you want to know why? It's because they are nice and they mind their business, which is what you should have been doing, but you got your nose up so far up everybody else's love lives that you don't even know that you yourself are not a likable person. So it will not matter where you go. You cannot get shows in your country. You cannot get shows in my country. You cannot get shows in his country. You cannot get shows in her country unless you fix that nasty ass attitude. Why you have to compare? Why you have to compare to Thai women? <laughs> Because you know yourself that you cannot, you cannot like us, you cannot like, oh my god! And you ask me, or you ask like people on social media that, oh my god, you know why I'm single? Yes! <laughs> Definitely, I know why you're single because you still have that mindset. Nothing new here, just another quote unquote educated Western woman looking down on Southeast Asian women. Western women challenge the men more, and Thai women needs you because blah blah blah. Using her logic saying that she earns more money and that's why she get to choose to be in a relationship, not need to be in a relationship. That is such a privilege and everyone in the world should have that privilege. And for her knowing that Thai women don't have that privilege and also use that against them is just lack of empathy, lack of knowledge and education and class. And seriously, why do you care so much about Thai women dating lives? You do you. Good luck. Or you can be single. It's fine. Being single is okay. Oh my God. Do you compete with Thai women? Absolutely no. With this attitude, I don't think you're on the level. You know what? Thai people learn how to respect people since we were young. You are 30. You're highly educated. You're super independent. You should know better. Listen, people are different. And no matter how much money you earn and how amazing you are, but you don't know how to respect people. You are literally nothing better than us or can compare with us. Gang, gang. See, I think this is one of the reasons why some people from other countries look at people from the United States as arrogant. This this right here is a prime example why. And the funny part about it is that woman isn't even from the United States. She clearly is, is European. But um, Western countries in general, just Western countries in general. But what I have noticed is that this kind of way of thinking and behavior is generally coming from the women. And I think the real reason why is unfortunately they won't admit this, but it's like all the time women are saying y'all are jealous because y'all can't compete with us. And the reason why y'all can't compete with these Thai women is because they were raised to respect and appreciate men and, and the value that they bring into the world. In the United States, you're pretty much taught and program the shit on men even though though these are the very same men that give you the rights to talk shit about men the way y'all do i mean in order for y'all to be able to speak freely and talk shit about men the way y'all do y'all need men to protect y'all right to do so let that sink in for a minute you must unlearn you know, i think you women in these other countries understand that logic that's why you don't hear them shitting on men the same way women do in the united states only for y'all to turn around in the last few years want to turn around and cry victim because men finally had enough and grew a backbone and started speaking up themselves 
now all of a sudden it's the women that are getting bashed all the time and it's the and it's the men that hate women even though y'all literally started a hashtag on a live all men just not too long ago you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up y'all literally just had that hashtag a couple years ago but y'all sitting over here crying about men hating women yeah okay i'm like with all this hypocrisy y'all wonder why the fuck men are leaving in anyway you stupid i mean shout out to the thai ladies for speaking up um i will be in thailand here in a, in a few months so be on the lookout for that depending on how things go if things go well i might try to squeeze in brazil and colombia before i go over there but We'll just see how well things go um, on the channel, man. So, so so far, so good. But we'll see how things go. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, all right? If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. As well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 1. And if you want to purchase any other merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.